And if you if you trace a musician's uh, history back to when they're kids, it's never an accident that they ended up doing that for a living. Like if you look at Chad Smith, our drummer, one of the greatest drummers to ever walk the earth today. He's a phenom. But he was a little stoner living in the suburbs of Michigan who all he wanted to do was listen to music and be a part of music. But he was also a natural-born athlete. He was so coordinated. Pick up a golf club, boom. Go on the ice, play hockey, boom. He was just genetically coordinated. And then he played in 20 different rock bands as a kid, just honing and woodshedding and figuring it out until we met him when he was like in his 20s and hired him. If you look at Flea, broken home, but his stepdad was a jazz bass player who would have jam sessions in the house all day, every day. Oh. So there's a little boy just watching these jazz bands, and then he got a trumpet, and he realized that if I play trumpet, people are going to notice me. So the little kid who wasn't getting much attention in this adult world of a broken home, suddenly people are paying attention and listening. And he had the discipline and the intellect. John Frusciante, his great-grandfather, immigrant from Italy, master musician. His father, Juilliard pianist. So from the time he's a kid, this music, like, let's see what you got. And then his psychosis and way of dealing with the world was I'm just going to sit and play for 10 hours a day. So it's never an accident that these people end up where they end 